Hello lovelies and welcome to this week's video. This week we will be talking about citrine. Right here we have it in its like quartz form. It is a yellow gold lemon quartz of well, of the variety of quartz. Um, this is also a raw form as well. It is not tumbled. This is actually from the chakra sets that I sell. Um, in my, it's, which is on my Etsy store, which will be linked below. Um, speaking of chakras, it is associated with the solar plexus and helps to heal and bring out that, uh, the positives that the solar plexus brings, such as, uh, being able to do business, being creative, abundance, um, being able to critically think job interviews, selling houses, all that great kind of stuff. So it really helps with like the logical business side. Um, it's mainly found in Brazil, but can be found in various other places. Um, it, for astrological signs, it's associated with Aries, Gemini, Leo, and Libra. Um, it also is associated with mercury and the sabbat that it is associated with most commonly is lamas which is what we just celebrated and talked about a few weeks ago uh for the body citrine is great for removing toxins and helps with digestive system and is great for the kidneys th uh, thymus uh, uh, gland and thyroid as well as the liver so like i get it it's great for removing toxins and detoxing. For the mind, it helps get rid of negative thoughts and energy and helps to bring joyful, happy feelings. It's a happy stone. Most yellow uh, crystals that are, fall under the yellow help with abundance, solar plexus, as well as joy. And that's all stuff that's associated with the solar plexus. So... It's like the joy, the feel-good stone. It has various nicknames such as the money stone, the feel-better stone. So when you need help with abundance or if you need to feel happier or you're just kind of down, this is a stone for you. Um, it also helps with focus, which would make sense, again, being associated with the solar plexus and being used in Reiki and chakra healings um, for the solar plexus. So it helps with increasing your self-esteem and your focus. And uh, it also can help with nightmares. So if you're having like night terrors and nightmares, keep a nice citrine under your pillow or hold one, have it near you. Uh, Magic-wise, it's used in spells and in manifestation work for drawing joy and happiness into one's life or a relationship, um, wealth and abundance, being able to, again, sell homes, get a job, uh, just overall abundance. And abundance, again, can be about financial, it can be about joy, it can be about love, all of that. Uh, it is an in in intense positivity stone uh, it can also be used to cleanse other stones so this a lot of people kind of like throw citrine aside and really t focus on like amethyst and rose quartz and just you know quartz in general um, and now I think a lot of people are talking about like onyx and black tourmaline and such but like citrine is a very powerful and important stone um, so yeah, I mean, if it can cleanse other crystals, it's pretty good. Uh, it's great to recharge, um, to get like a full recharge on litha um, by leaving your citrine in a place where it can get a lot of energy and greet the dawn. Um, otherwise, Another great way to get more energy while cleansing and re-energizing it than you would normally would with um, cleansing crystals, which of course still cleanse it the way you normally would. Um, you can use holly or ivy um, as a shade while you put it out in the sun. So that that's 
that's something that's kind of interesting about it. Um, I mean, all the crystals have various things I can do. Though I did say that it was like great for Aries, Gemini, Libra, Leo. It's also great for Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer as well. The reason it's good for Taurus is because Taurus is an earth sign that's very much ambitious, stubborn, and focused on work and logic, as all our signs are. However, they have that lazy side, so, <laughs> and which can bring in negativity and depression and etc. So it's great for Tauruses to kind of get that boost back um, to want to go and actually achieve what their goals are. It's great for Scorpios as well as Cancers. Um, Actually, when I was doing my Zodiac Potion um, sale, one of the crystal I used various crystals for each sign, um, and if people ordered more than once, I would use the secondary that I had available. And for Scorpio, I got a lot of orders of Scorpio, and a couple were repeats. Um, Citrine was the second one I gave. So, in summary, Citrine is great for helping with abundance, success, empowerment, the sacral chakra for healing, which that thus helps with manifesting power, magnifying personal power, aiding in success in all you desire, uh, primarily in business. It combats negativity, brings a ton of joy, which makes it great for my empaths. And I know I have a lot of empathetic, um, sensitive, highly sensitive people that will follow me due to my empath work. So this is a great crystal for you because um, it helps rejuvenate. When when an empath is feeling completely drawn out and has been around psychic vampires a lot, citrine is amazing to bring that back that energy. Yes, black tourmaline and onyx and obsidian are great for the protection aspect, but citrine helps to give you that boost back up, give you a little bit of joy. Um... It's, oh, I totally forgot. It's great for like energizing the home by clearing energy uh, within the home. It will help you to have a more feng shui uh, energy within your home. It also helps with psychic abilities and dream divination. Like I said, it gets rid of the nightmares and brings forth instead more positive dreams that will help you. So dream divination, psychic dreams. So just like in your awaken time throughout the day, how it gets rid of the depression and negative thoughts and brings joy, it gets rid of nightmares and replaces it with dream divination. A again, mental clarity increases creativity, rids fear of commitments. So if you're in a, somebody in a, in a relationship and you're really in love with somebody, but you have a little bit of fear of commitment or abandonment issues, things of that nature, this crystal will also help with that. Um, and it also helps you if you have that horrible feeling of feeling undesirable or unable to be loved. Um, helps with self-worth, confidence, brings happiness to those who are self-destructive and depressed. Helps people with trauma, remo removes negative energies and toxins. Um, and it removes blocks that could be getting in the way of sexual energy and sensuality, um, helps get rid of toxicity within relationships. So this is what some people do um, in their home, if they're living with their, with their significant other, is have citrine and amethyst within the bedroom. Um, and yeah, it is also great for fibromyalgia and MS. Right, so that's the summary of it. Great positivity stone, great with reboosting, making you full of joy. Uh, you can tell I'm sick, so I'm not able to show you all the joy. Helps bring abundance and helps clear, clear the home, helps with any sexual trauma. This is just an all around great crystal for people to have. So, now you know a little bit about citrine. Uh, please like this video, uh, share, I would love for that, 
subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and press the bell little bell notification button so you know every time I post a new video um, check out my shop I on my Etsy shop I have an automatic 10% off for the next couple weeks um, for tarot readings and um, custom products uh, go to my Facebook page and or my email which is all below check out my magical newsletter and what else <laughs> um, check out my Instagram follow me on Twitter and um, oh yeah uh, the first week of September I'm going to be releasing my Samhain kits and products usually I wait wait like I waited until almost uh, <sighs> Like, it was already the first week of October when I released it last year. And um, I decided, no, I'm going to release it way early because there was a high demand. And I ended up not being able to get enough out. And now I will be able to. So check that out. And I'm going to be making my own sage sticks and some satchels that will be on Etsy for my garden because it's harvest time. So look for all that. I love you all. And um, I'll see you next week. Next week is going to be the first video on Persephone. Uh, but it will be for um, how you teach your children about Persephone and Mabon. And then the week after will be a more in-depth. So that's all. I love you all. And I'll see you next week. Bye.